Hey, what is up YouTube? It's Rich. I'm back. This is kind of crazy. Just for the heck of it, I did a test with a page that I'm actually inking today with my camera flipped around with the way that I thought that it wouldn't work. And it actually shot really good. And it looked really good. And it was even closer than before. So I don't know. Maybe this lens that I replaced is okay. I'm going to do a little rendering. We'll just do like a five minute. This is just a little teaser, teaser thing. But yeah, it was crazy. My my little test looked great. It gets a little bit of a soft focus um, around the outside edges, but where I was inking, it looked great. So that would be nice because I was like kind of stressing on that. Like it's, not, I mean, one, I don't have the money to replace my phone and camera, but two, um, you know, it's like I'm gonna rip the lens off again and then try to replace it. It's just like, man. You don't want to make it worse. So, again, I'm doing these with a brush because I had already started doing the rendering with a brush. I wouldn't always render David with a brush, but I kind of wanted a certain look on this piece that just the pencils were leading me to, you know? And it's one of those things where what the pencils say, I listen. It sounds corny, but, you know, I mean, it's, it's like you, you work for the piece. The piece tells you what it needs. This piece needed very accurate and almost more simple line work. And again, if you look at, um, it's a Wolverine Hulk. I'll put a link in the description below of it. On that piece, it was real big and it was kind of in your face and he had these wild, like really long lines on Wolverines like gloves and stuff like that and um, on that one you know it just felt like it needed a, a little bit of a different vibe to me and because it was a commission and I already knew what the guy that was getting the commission liked his name's Eric um, I'm actually gonna send him links to these videos he doesn't know I'm doing this but I think they'll be really fun for him to see his piece actually come to life can't imagine that you wouldn't want to see that it's pretty, pretty neat little pretty neat little thing um, but yeah, on that one, it's just like, I don't know, you know, I wanted to do, I'll, I'll call it the Scott Williams thing, but it's these big kind of strokey, um, like brush stroke things. And they it just, I don't know, it just looked like it wanted that. And again, I mean, you know, if you're inking a particular artist, you want to be respectful for what they want. But on a commission, you know, they're hiring me. Um, so they want to see what I can do. And a lot of times they want kind of a fantasy piece, you know, meaning, um, you know, oh, like what would it be like to mash up this with this? I think he had seen, I had done a silver surfer commission for someone and um, I gone pretty crazy on it. But, you know, again, that's, that's kind of the fun of these. So um, with the brush inking, what I'm doing is very light touch and then as I get closer to where I want it to end I push down harder it's funny if you look right there I cut myself with the glass removing it from the um, the lens like it's kind of crazy I saw it in the video I was like what the hell I'm bleeding <laughs> um, and uh, yeah so in the description box below I'm gonna have a link for my patreon the Patreon is to make this channel killer. I want this to be one of the best comic book channels on YouTube. And the way that I'm going to do that is by being able to devote time to it and care. I think about it a lot. You know, what do I want to do here? What do I want to, um, you know, what kind of content do I want to have? Um, and a lot of ideas. I saw a great video yesterday. Um, I'm going to do a video on it, but, um, I found two, I found two pretty cool YouTube channels that, um, I think are worth sharing. And, um, but, uh, it gave me an idea for something that I wanted to do here. So, um, it wasn't even really directly related with what they were doing, to be honest. Um, but, uh, you know, you can, you kind of get little ideas, um, 
you know, when you see someone who's got, you know, good production or something like that on a video. And, um, you know, it just takes time. The problem is, is I work all the time. You know, I'm always tied to deadlines and, um, you know, getting stuff in for most of the time DC right now. Um, and, uh, yeah, it makes it tricky to really have time to do super fancy videos here. You know what I'm saying? So, anyway, but, yeah. You see, you can go in and do some pretty effective rendering with a with a brush, um, you know, and and it it's you make the line, you make the stroke, okay? It's not the um the other way around. So in my mind, I know what I want these to look like, and so I could grab a Pigma pen and do this, or I could grab a Hunt 102. And each one, in their own way, is capable of probably making the stroke that I want. But some of them are faster, you know what I mean? Like, um, a brush is good at getting a pointy line, and a, and a croak will too, but um, you can see me kind of, you know, arcing my lines to keep the form, form forming up good, I was gonna be funny, and it was gonna, wasn't gonna be a good joke, and I pulled back, and then it was even worse joke, um, <laughs> okay, so, all right, I'm just gonna do this one little bit right here, and then I'm gonna call this, but yeah, this was just a nice surprise, this is like a bonus vid, um, because, just for the heck of it, because I had to go back to inking, like, what I'm working on today, um, I was like, ah, you know what, just stick the camera the other way and just see what it looks like. Because I had done a test, I was looking at it on the small viewfinder on my camera, and it looked blurry. And I think part of it's the pencils on the other piece, because it's, or this piece, uh, sorry. W um, there wasn't enough ink down, so it was trying to soft focus on um, the, uh, the pencil line. It didn't know, like it couldn't see it. I don't know, we'll see. But anyway, okay, so you get a little more. You get a little little render love. All right, let's see. Let's see if I can get autofocus on this. So, yeah, David Finch pencils on this as a Hulk. I think that arm's turned out really cool. Looks good to me. Hopefully it looks good to you. All right, smash the like button. Go to Patreon. Oh, and I'm also, I'm uploading little bonus things over on Patreon. I, uh, you'll see more and more surprises going up there as a... As, uh, the days and weeks go on but yeah i'm always going to be saying like go check out the patreon even if you don't even donate i'm telling you there's going to be stuff i'm going to use it more um it, you know like like that's where i'm going to actually be posting um, a lot of like still images so go to patreon and check it out link below and look there's no pressure to donate you don't have to but but there'll be details and stuff detail photos of this stuff okay thanks bye talk to you later